So here we are at Women Tech Global Conference 2020, and I'm your presenter and speaker, Sukti Sharma. Today's agenda is here in front of you. First of all, I'll give my self-introduction, then introduction to databases, and there onwards, this database management system, types of databases, and its three basic parts, SQL and its three types, and some of the basic queries we'll discuss in this session. And at the end of the session, you can ask me your questions. OK? Actually, OK. So this is something. Some things about me, basically. I live in Punjab, India. And I am a BTEC CSC undergraduate student in third year now. And it's my pre-final year. I'm speaker and member at Women Tech Global Network and content writer at Girl Up She United, member at the Uplift Project at Girl Script Foundation. And here lies my interest areas and some of my proficiencies. So yeah. These are some of the links. And I'll also give you the link of this PDF after this session. OK, so don't worry if you miss something in this session. Continuing with the session, we have our first slide, which is introduction to databases. So first is the definition of database. You all must be wondering that what is database? From the definition of databases, basically database is an organized collection of data. For example, uh, organized connection means we have some sites. We have some e-commerce sites. And um, as its title says, that this is an introduction to databases, their purpose, and for features. It deals with how to design and create a simple database in MySQL. Starting off with the concepts of data and information, it is also a good read for the new, for those who are new at databases. So. Some of the examples of databases are this personal records of students and students' performance history, teachers' data, and financial department data, etc. You all must be aware of this, OK? So coming towards our next slide. OK, so let me tell you a story. It's a Saturday morning. As I feed these words into a word processor, I have a browser running in the background and with a page on eBay open in one tab, OK? and the Engadget in another. The sheer simplicity of browsing through the product catalogs on eBay or reading the latest and greatest tech news on Engadget is live proof of the power of databases. So the information age, social networking age, the collaborative age, or whatever age you may take it, that lies around the data, the data of each and every user which is present there on their e-commerce website. So. OK, so we what we gain from here, that storing data of users in a database management tool like MySQL, that is basically database management system, that system. Here we have the definition of information, which is the processed data, OK? OK. This is the live example. Here you can see that we have an eBay, eBay page open here, and which has the description and price of each and every product, which lies there. OK. Now we are coming to database management system, that is DBMS. A database management system is a software application which is used for managing different databases, OK? DBMS, OK. So we have different softwares, like MySQL and cross grids, SQL, et cetera. So I'm here to describe you all about my SQL. Database management system helps us in the data security. The data backup manages huge amount of data, data export and import, serving multiple concurrent databases requests, and give us a way to manage the data using programming language, such as Java, C++, and some other programming languages. Now, the types of databases are non-relational databases, which have some tables of data and no, the, uh, and the tables are not connected to each other in that. Okay, so we cannot interact with non-relational databases using SQL. But here, we, as we are talking about SQL, so I'm going to talk about the relational databases, which are related in some manner. Okay, 
three parts of making databases are tables, queries, and views. Let me explain you all from hmm, queries. Please. Okay. Now, what is SQL? SQL stands for the Structured Query Language, which is standardized language for interacting with RDBMS. And RDBMS is Relational Database Management System. So I already told you about these, MySQL, Oracle, MariaDB, PostgreSQL. And this all you can read about SQL. And I'll give you this presentation link so you will read. Here I'm here to talk about the practical. OK, so here we will come. Okay, We were here. And the types of structured query language, that is SQL. So we have four types of SQL. Basically, it's a combination of four different languages. And here we have them all. First is DQL, data query language. OK, here we fetch the information. OK, second is DDL, data definition language. It's used to define tables and schemas. Third is DCL, data control language, which is used for user and permission management. And fourth is DML, data manipulation language. I'm just saying we are running away of time. OK. Here lies the basic queries of MySQL, which we are going to focus in this session. So. These are all the topics which are going to be covered by me in the next slides of this session, OK? OK, so the basic query is this. Mm, discard. Great. Okay. So you all are seeing me, right? Yeah. Okay. So the basic queries. Let me open MySQL Workbench. I'm going to show you a table and through, through which you will get an idea. Okay. Tables. And here is our customer table. This is what SQL does to the data which has been stored about the users and which is useful for the company. Mm, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So as you see, as you can see, here lies all the data, customer ID, first name, last name, birth date, phone number, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, of every user in a systematic manner. And this is query. So I told you earlier about, I guess, this three, pa three parts of making databases, which is tables, queries, and views. So here is the table. This is the table which we were talking about. And this is the query. It is written query one. OK, it was the query. Moving forward, we have the basic query through which we can access these tables in MySQL. And this software is actually MySQL Workbench. You all can download or install it straight by going to Google. And you can type there, download MySQL Workbench. OK. This is the basic query. And SQL is not a case sensitive language. So if you all write select in uppercase or lowercase, it will not shout out at you. It will say, OK, I got you, as we wrote here. So if I write from in lowercase letters, it will always understand what I'm saying to it. OK? Let it be as it is. Moving forward, we have writing comments in MySQL Workbench. So if we write, if we want to write any command, let me show you this. We are writing any command as, as this, giving these two. Like if I want to uh, make the second line into a command, so I have to do this. Simple, simple, isn't it? 
and that com uh, comment which we wrote here will not be applicable in our code okay so if i implement this it's going to show me the standard code which i wrote here and the output of that code and it's going to show me the table and it's it doesn't operate the selecting the schema sql store line it and if i remove these then it's saying that there is an error so this line is producing an error and now it's all good there moving towards our next slide we have select clause so suppose if we want to select a uh, data of a particular customer okay or a customer which uh, has discount factor as this first of all okay yeah so we have to select this we have to use the select clause and select clause is simple and the order of operations which is which is defined here is parenthesis multiplication and division and then addition and subtraction first of all we have to put the parenthesis then whichever function we want to apply on that and basically it's an order now i'm going to show you the result this is the result table it's showing me entries of the discount factor which is calculated by this formula and it's written here as discount factor here as you can see and it's fetching this data from the sql store and this is schema and in this schema we have different tables it's fetching the data from the customers table which i have shown you earlier here is the customers table here we have point section point column basically and what was my query this was my query we wrote this query and it implemented it next is our where clause so when we want that we uh we actually want a particular user's data in a certain form that suppose we say that we want the data of the user where points are greater than 3000 so we have to put an if statement you know not that if statement then there we write this where clause here are the points to remember that used to filter data it basically used to filter data and it has conditions and written from the uh, written after the from declaration select star select star means select the all the entries from customers where points are greater than 3000 let me implement it here we have the data of all the users who have their points greater than 3000 as you can see again we have some comparison operators and some logical operators this you can study from the pdf okay now and operator or operator not operator this i'm going to show you and operator okay i'm going to implement these queries only because we have only 3 minutes left and let me implement it okay so these are basically the logical operators which i am defining you and if you are from the cs background then you must know what are logical operators and is for when both the conditions are true and or is for when one of the conditions are true not is for to negate a condition which is not true neither of the conditions are true in basically it has the provided if the provided subset lies there in the set there we write in operator between operator here we define the range like operator like operator let me show you this is where clause no this is and operator we have to write two statements and we have to give the two statements conditions okay and both of them should be true then our and operator is working okay the next is or operator either of these conditions could be true and we have our results another one is not let me implement this okay this is producing something okay i have this word date so 
now we will implement it yeah here is the table we have the not operator where birth date is greater than this we have to not select those entries so it will we have this time okay here is in operator where the customers who have states as va ny and california here are here are the entries okay yeah so we have some more things so basically by this you can implement the, uh, these all not operator in operator between like operator is null operator order by is done to order the column that basically sorting is done through this limit limit is when we define the limits inner join is when we join two tables suppose we have these two tables and we have to join them so we'll have our inner join inner join yeah this is inner join we'll join the both of the tables first is customers table and second is orders table we have joined these tables and when we have to perform any analysis of the data we'll perform it okay let me provide you all with the link because session is finished it's 40 okay okay this is the link to the pdf and if you have any queries related to this section or session i'll provide you with my linkedin link where is it yeah so you have both the links if you have any query related to this you can ask me here on linkedin connect with me on linkedin and i'll let you know about the answers of those whole queries okay. it's already time is up okay if you have any questions regarding this session this session was so fast i know but let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt if you have any doubt, yeah. Uh, I want to know your opinion about the future prospect of databases. Like what are the current applications of databases? What is likely to change in database management and what innovation will it lead to? Okay, Shruti yeah i would like to answer your question that about databases that databases are currently used for the data analysis you know that uh, data analysis in the field of machine learning in the field of artificial intelligence basically database is nowadays used in that and if you ask me five years from now okay okay five years from now database can be used in what does happen yeah uh, after five years the database can be used in much advanced prospects that in machine learning and sql versus no sql which one is better to use in case of involving time series data okay uh, yeah it's sql for the time series data because in machine learning also we use sql standard query language because if the data is not relational because in no sql we have the not relational database so in that case we cannot involve the time series of data isn't it so the answer to your question is sql any another question if there is Awesome. Okay. Yeah, great. Thanks. So, if everything is clear to you all, shall we move towards the end of this session or are you all having some doubt? Just let me know. Thank you. Have a great evening. Okay. Thank you, Shruti. Thank you for joining me here in the session. Thank you.
No, it was awesome. Thanks. Actually, it was my first time giving such sessions. So I had. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day ahead. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all. I'm gonna end this session. Thank you. Have a great day ahead, you all. Thank you all for joining this session. Thank you.